In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround to get closed captioning in your event videos. Okay, so here's the situation. If I bring a slide video in from my computer, and I'm just going to use an example of one of my recent Adobe Captivate video tutorials here. Let's just bring that in to my slide here and click OK. This is slide video. It's going to do a couple of things. Of course, it's going to stretch out my timeline to be the full duration of the video. So that's a good thing. But it also gives me the ability to select the video and go into edit video timing. And you'll see here there's a second tab for closed captioning. And I can start entering my closed captioning for this particular slide video. It is a very manual process. I'll say that there's no easy way to simply import your closed captions, but it does work and it is available to Adobe Captivate users who want to use slide video. If I go ahead and click on media and select video, I have the option for event video. Now there's a couple of, of real good advantages with event video. Let's go and browse to my video in this case here. Click OK. So the first thing that we have that is an advantage, you'll notice that the timeline has not been extended by the duration of the video. The video is asynchronous with the rest of your project. So people can click on this video, they'll have their own playback controls as you can see here. Uh, they won't appear uh, as you see them in this uh, edit view. But uh, when you publish it to HTML5, you'll get, of course, playback controls for your learners. You can do several things, of course. You can auto rewind the video once it's completed. You can also auto play. And one of the other benefits of event video is that you can actually pause the slide till the learner reaches the end of the video. So that's a plus. But unlike the other option for slide video, there's no possibility of me adding closed captions. So here's where the workaround comes into play. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a YouTube Studio account. And basically, if you have a Gmail account, you pretty much already have a YouTube account. Even if you have no intention of using uh, YouTube to uh, publish your videos, you can use its ability to auto caption your videos. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the create icon here upload videos, and I happen to have a video that doesn't have closed captions presently, I can drag this to the drag and drop video files to upload window here, and this will upload my project. I don't really need to worry too much about what the description is and so on. You have to choose, of course, whether you're going to monetize this or not, and I'm not going to in this case. And I'm just going to leave this video unlisted here. And once it's finished uploading, if we're lucky, YouTube will process the video. You'll not only end up with your video uploaded to YouTube and processed, but you'll also end up with closed captions automatically generated by uh, YouTube. So we can download those captions and use those in Camtasia to hard encode your closed captioning into your video. Let me show you that in a moment. So for this example, I'm going to use a video that I recently uploaded from YouTube Studio. I can scroll down to the subtitles section and you'll see here that I've got some translations for some titles and descriptions. But right here at the top, I have my English subtitles automatically generated from the narration that's actually in the video. I can download the file there's a few formats available. The one we want today is the SRT format. So I'm going to download that and save that just to my downloads folder. So I've gone ahead and opened up Camtasia. First thing I need to do is import my local copy of the video in question. And I can just literally drag and drop this into Camtasia down here. And we'll just make sure that it's aligned with the first frame. Now, here's where things get really cool. I can click on the file drop down menu and import that captions file for this video. There it is right there in my downloads folder. Click on open and it'll just 
work away here. There's a few things that you can do. Of course, you can edit the text. You can, you know, adjust the duration and you can go through each line by line to make sure that everything is great. And of course, there's no spelling mistakes or dirty words or anything like that. Once everything's good to go, you can go ahead and publish this video just as you would any other Camtasia recording. And you'll end up with a video that has the closed captioning hard encoded into your video. So let's do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and publish to a local file. Click next. We're going to go with MP4. Uh, in this case here, we'll just go with all the default settings here. Everything looks good. And we'll click next and next. And we'll call this sample project. And we'll go ahead and click finish. And we'll let it render and we'll pick up when it's done. Okay, so our project has finished rendering. So I'm going to go ahead and close Camtasia down. We don't need that any longer. Let's return to our Captivate project. And now I'm going to click on the media icon and select video. And we're going to choose event video, navigate to where this particular video has been published, which is my desktop. We'll go in there and bring that in as an event video. Click OK. And you can see almost right away that there are closed captions hard encoded into my video. So this is perfect. Let's just center that on the slide and we'll just make sure that the slide will pause until the end of the video. And we can go ahead and preview this in HTML5. And you can see here that I've got event video running on my slide with closed captions. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.